Hello everybody, my name is I Hate Will and this is my good friend Del the Dwarf. And he's a dual wielding specialist, he's a rogue, he's a very important guy. This is Dragon Age Inquisition and Del here is the Inquisitor. Which is, again, super importante y'all. Um, he is El Jefe of this little place over here. And we are going to talk to some folks, and if they have nothing important to say, then we are going to continue with the storyline. What do you got? Huh? Iron Bull, what you got? Hey, boss. Nothing. Nothing new. Okay. See you later, uh, so I'm going to run around. If anybody says anything interesting, I will capture it and bring it to you. If not, the next thing you'll see is the War Council. talk with you. I've heard about some oddities here in the keep. Was that you? Yes. Maybe. What was it? You burned turnips. Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. There you go. He needed that soldier to smell them. So he could die thinking he'd gone home. He did go home. Ah, I see. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. Was that you? They were safer there. Safer than on someone's belt, where they could draw them in the heat of an argument. They would have been sad later. Hmm. Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. And healers need something to treat infected wounds, like spider webs. The plums are already dead, but they don't mind helping. Huh. Okay, well, that's really I'll interesting. Later. How do you know? Look at all the books we found. Ugh. Who are you? Worship. How's it going? Do we have what we need? Our capacity increases, as do our requests to suppliers. I've had to threaten some contracts. It was exhilarating. <laughs> As you were. We are here. Nothing. Unfortunate. What you doing, reading? Nerd. Good book. Ah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> She's reading Varric's book, um... Wait, are you blushing? What would I have to blush about? You tell me. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. 
It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. The latest chapter? Meaning you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. That's just her favorite. Nobody asked you, Tavinta. <laughs> I couldn't finish the last one you lent me. I actually feel dumber for having tried. <laughs> it's literature. Smutty literature. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Oh, okay. I can't believe this. <laughs> I only started reading them when I began looking for Hawk as research. They're terrible and magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. Pretend you don't know this about me. <laughs> well, maybe you shouldn't read it in public, you know? Greetings. So that book you were reading. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what of it? So under that taciturn shell beats a true romantic heart. Why must it be an accusation? Romance is not the sole province of dithering ladies in frilly dresses. It is passion. It is being swept away by the pursuit of an ideal. What is not to like about that? Uh, huh. Oh, I quite agree with you. Then why are you laughing at me? I wasn't. <sighs> I will never hear the end of this, will I? <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Varric, I guess. This is getting interesting. I do have a thing for Cassandra. I regret breaking her heart. Or never never kindling a relationship with her. That's okay. Beric. Need something? Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords look and at Shields. Him. I must have heard that wrong. It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books. That's exactly what I just said. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Wait, did you say the romance serial? Oh, she'll be waiting for a while then. I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. Oh, that that's too bad. Is the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. I was hoping to give it to Cassandra as a gift. Oh, come on, that's just cruel. Even the Seeker doesn't deserve that. So. You want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial for Cassandra? Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition, I get to be there when you give her the book. Fine. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. All right. <sighs> All right, let's go turn this book into Cassandra. She's going to love it. Where is she? There. What is this? Where are you at? There you are. Okay, hey, guess what? What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. <laughs> this is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the night captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it turns out the guardsman... Don't tell me! 
<clears throat> this is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. All right. I... thank you. Beric's the one you should be thanking. I am but a humble servant to my loyal readers. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. Don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Oh, oh burn. Completely worth it. Yeah, we did a nice thing. It's a very nice thing. Anything you gotta say? Is there anything you need? All right. That's enough for now. Another time, then. All right, we're gonna go back around and talk to everybody, and anything happens, I will have it recorded. First, a full wheel of Antivan smoked cheese, and now three royals worth of crushed mint. They were right here. I remember seeing someone take them. Just. I can't recall their face. Looks like Cole's up to his old ways. Um, let's see. In here? There's Never no been way. in here. I can store an army. Look at the dwarf. What is this? Holy crap. We got all the books. Ah, Vivian, hey. Yes. Do you think that you and I might someday? You and I? It would be absurd, my dear. Stuck up, okay. Well, not into me, that's fine. Swing and a miss. Yes. I think we're going to call it right there because that Cassandra Varick story was so. Good. I liked it so much. Uh, anything I do after it will just be anticlimactic. So, that's going to do it for today's episode. This is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. And I will see Did you, you know that the next time. Did you know that the secret Cassandra's ancestor lived for over 120 years?